my parents, when they, you know, they joined the church when my sister was two. And then my, my parents, they actually got a divorce when I was, when I was six years old. And so from that, you know, from then on, I was in a, you know, single mom home, you know, my mom, I saw my dad every other weekend. Um, actually before my mission, it got to the point where, you know, probably like from the time when I was about 14 or so to the time I left was when my dad kind of had a little funk kind of era where I actually didn't even see him that much. And, you know, it's all good now. It's not a big, you know, it's not like I have any grudges against my dad. I mean, I love my dad. It was almost at, at that time when I was developing as a young man, you know what I mean? When, you know, he wasn't there as much. So it's like the church was very important to me in that way because especially in the, you know, with the priesthood and a lot of the leaders in general, I had to rely on, you know, that strength and that foundation, you know, when it was that time of my life when, you know, I was 13, 14, you know, starting to pass the sacrament, starting to, you know, have the age of where, you know, the, the priesthood was progressing, right? And then, so then I, you know, served my mission. And I think it was right before I served my mission was when my dad kind of came back and started getting back into church. And, and he actually, um, he actually got to the point where he could set me apart to be an elder. So it was pretty cool. So that whole transition of parents were divorced, single home, um, dad kind of fell away a little bit, came back and it was like right before my mission. And so started my mission, came back. It was probably one of those cases where like, you know, every, you come back and you're 23 and you're like freaked out. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm not married yet. And I didn't get married till I was 28. <laughs> so it's like the complete contrast of what a lot of expectations are for a lot of the norm and like an LDS um, upbringing, not upbringing, but you know, culture. Um, I kind of was probably against the grain, but I think there's a lot more people that are like that. Yeah. The more than people realize that are, uh, you know, come from, I guess you call it a broken home, you know, but definitely with that regard, in that regard, I think that the, the gospel was very important because of that, you know, I really think that it doesn't matter where you come from, who you are. I mean, who you become is completely up to you and your agency. And I think that that's one of the things that I've learned the most about the gospel is on paper, I think I should have had probably, you know, by the time I got married, I was single. I'm an African-American. Well, I'm biracial, right? Black and white, African-American male, single, um, you know, one, but after my mission, right? I should have had, you know, five illegitimate kids or something, right? Um, but here I am, a 28-year-old, you know, virgin, I guess you could say, which is crazy to even think of, you know, and still heading strong, not even, not even an issue, right? And so definitely the foundation.